Hello everyone and welcome to Moving Vlog 14. Um, as I said in Moving Vlog 1, I really need to shave my face. Um, I will do that at some point. I do apologise for ending the previous vlog so abruptly. What had simply happened was I had ran out of uh, storage on my phone and my laptop. As you can see, I got all of the pieces of the old shed out of here and I moved the grey box to there. Here's the 3 metre streetlight pole the window that I'm going to be keeping and this aircon unit that I can't decide on. It was on the end of the old shed over there. Um, it is kind of surreal to see this area without the shed in it. I mean, it's been here for the last 10 years and it, I mean, it's all I've ever known and uh, so much stuff happened in that shed. I had it for a long time before I started making YouTube videos. I did so much in it, went through so many different setups, um, but change is inevitable and we're moving on to bigger and better things. Inside here, I just put the street lights that were installed. Um, so that's where they are now. There's a big spider. Great. I'm gonna have to pick that light up later. That's okay. Um, still need to take this thing down. Uh, I'll get to that in a bit. Yeah, I got roof racks on the beamer. So they're looking pretty cool. Definitely different. Definitely still getting used to how they look, but I'm gonna be able to uh, carry wood and ladders and whatever else now i just need to get some tie down straps but that's what they look like this is the pile of timber from the old shed it's mostly all of the internal framing dad got this trailer from his work so i'm going to fill that up with all the stuff because it can fit more than this one which is full of mostly wall and roof sheets um and then these are from the back wall these big bits so um i'm going to set up the time lapse and we're just going to get all of this into that trailer I'm back at the new place. I haven't actually been here for two days. The last time I hung up this fan here, which is going to be the designated testing spot. Haven't got anything wired in yet for it. It's not functional, but that's where the testing spot's going to be. And we changed around this fluorescent lighting again. I'm not going to take this one down just yet. We put more fans on the roof in here. Eventually, I think I'm on it. If it fits, I'd like to put a 36 inch fan in there. If you remember, I was saying this three arm spotlight, I've got some single versions of it. They're in this box. This is what they look like. Um, it's just a, only just one and obviously the curve is a bit thicker to fit the transformer. I was originally going to mount them on this wall, boom, like that, because I think I want to have a floating shelf coming out about yay far. And then I'd like to have these lighting up the floating shelf. Um, I was going to put this on the wall, but I'd like to have an actual feature wall sconce fixture here. Not sure what that's going to be yet. Um, so I think what I actually want to do is do the same thing, hang these with jack chains. That's what I think we're gonna do first. We're gonna fit some plugs and chains to these and get them hanging up. So I'm quite happy with how these look. Um, let me know what you think. It's hard to get them perfectly dead level, I suppose, because they're so small as well. Um, this one was the one I was having the main problem with. They've got different light bulbs in them. This one's got a newer light bulb in it. That one's got an older one. And it's the, as you can tell, they're slightly different colors. If it bothers me, I'll change them. If it doesn't, I'll just wait until they die and then change them. This one's got a mixture. Um, Kind of funny how these two ended up so close. I wouldn't have minded if this one had two lamps because then I could have had a single here pointing at the wall, one of these ones pointing at that wall and one of them pointing at that wall and then move this one over a bit. Um, but I'm happy with it. What I think I want to do now, there's stuff in the way, but at some point I'd like to try and center that dartboard. And so they are all on the same switch. Boop. Separate from these two front pendants. Um, so... That's that. I think what I want to do now is start messing around with the fans on the ceiling in here again. Good, good decision. I think I'm going to put up my brown SMC KW48 here and then the Mistral MCFLA48 Style 3 here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this.
So this is what I came up with. A lot of experimenting and thinking and fitting went into this. I wanted to have a light in the middle and that was probably my biggest snag because this area is so crowded with fans and I want it to be like that. I want to fit as many fans in this front section as possible. I was going to not have much light here. I'm designating this spot for a fluorescent light because I need one here and I'm event because this is eventually going to be a sink. So definitely need a light here. So I put the Mistral here. It's actually on that side of this closer beam, as you can see. And then I think I might actually move the GEC. As you can see, it's on this side of that far beam. So I think I might move it over to this side and then it'll just push it a bit over that way. Hopefully it doesn't hit that bit of wood that's there. Uh, if it does, then I'll just leave it. But just to kind of push it over that way a bit more. The Mistral or, the G, or this GEC aren't functional yet. None of these fans in this vicinity are functional yet. Um, and they won't be for a little while. I did have, I just did just have an idea for this though, but these two definitely aren't going to be functional for a little while and unless I get impatient, which is definitely a possibility. Um, and then I just put up, because I wanted it to be a short fixture because obviously it's going to come too much into this space if it's a long fixture. Um, I may end up hanging a long fixture from that beam and this beam sometime, but this is what I've done for now. It's closer to the SMC than it is to the Mistral. I've been thinking about this and I'm not gonna do it just yet, but I wanna put, um, I wanted to put the 36 inch Mistral Union in this kind of area with this three globe light thing on a dimmer. That's looking like less and less like it's gonna work now. Um, so I think I may end up using the GEC Windsor here because I don't have a spot for that yet. And I'm not, I wasn't planning to install it. And it's such a cool fan. So that might go in here, not quite sure yet. Um, but what I think I want to do now, I had an idea for this GEC. I was thinking this isn't a really good performing fan and also the bearings in it are basically shot. So it's not like I was going to use it very much because it doesn't move much air. And then if I just spin it here by hand, you can hear that. So I thinking I'm not going to use it much. So I was thinking, oh, well, I just won't hook it up and it'll just be here for looks. But obviously you guys know I can't do that. So what I'm thinking of doing is get a 1 or a 1.2 microfarad capacitor, just a two-wire one, and then wire it in series with this fan permanently and then just plug it on with the lights. So whenever the lights come on, this thing just spins really slowly. Let's do that and see what it looks like. I'm going to have to figure out a way to split this because I need one more plug than I have up there because obviously that light, I want it to be on with this light and this light because that's going to be the main lining circuit. I want to keep the workbench light on its own. So let's see what I can come up with here. Here's to no sparks. Okay, well the fan doesn't work. Not exactly the best start. Just give it a nudge so that it's spinning at least. Does it stop? It doesn't look like it's trying to go at all. Okay. Let's try that again. No, we're not actually gonna try it again. Uh, I need to get home for dinner and also I need to start editing. So I'm gonna go home now. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you're enjoying the moving vlog series as much as I am. I'm really enjoying working in this new shed. It's so much nicer than the old place. Thanks for watching and that'll be it. Hey, hey.